Good morning YouTube, how are you doing? Today I'm going to talk about something that you know concerns developers and guys that have know-how from uh, you know programming Mac and things like that guys like uh, osx86project.org you know this is also my little clan where I go if you know I want to talk to the gurus so you know yesterday you know all know that I'm you know in doubt and I don't know what this command arch is 32 and arch is 64 I discovered it also works on the same laptop you know what are we talking about we're talking about uh, I at cost s3 uh, v2 installation on a Dell D 830 and I must say that there are better uh, ways to install even lion and mountain lion I understood today you know on the same laptop but you know these are all new kinds of installs that we old schoolers you know I've been doing this for many years already and I always did it with distros I even understood that in some um, at Tony Mark 86 website because I saw some things in my own group where I where I'm at and where, what I'm loyal to as well you know um, that you know um, if I only use the word distro I will get banned in some way they don't like distros because distros is piracy and I don't know what it in fact is I think uh, it has to do with uh, the copyrights of Apple of whatever but you know in the beginning there were only distros there was no such thing as my hack and uh, my boot CD there are all sorts of things that I never tested yet so I really you know uh, must go and see these things because I'm still doing it the old school way so we're talking about a Dell 830 that I installed uh, the Mac OS X 10.6.3 system on yeah what did I choose well this is uh, the old school installer of iAdcos S3 and uh, well as you can see the Azir uh, bootloader is already uh, selected so that's what I selected in this uh, installation uh, for the bootloader options I selected 32 bit boot and graphics enabler we're doing this on the Dell D830 and um, so I, I choose 32 bit boot graphics enabler okay I did not choose anything here in patches I only I disabled RTC and selected RTC 32 bit I choose no kernel no kernel or whatsoever I selected sleep enabler in main hardware I selected for Intel SATA IDE for sound, I disabled Apple HDA and only selected Fudu HDA, worked out of the box. For PS2, this is for the mouse pad and the keyboard on your uh, laptop, I choose Apple PS2. The driver never gives me issues. CPU power management, I just uh, took uh, Fudu P state. You know, most of the time works just fine. Laptop hardware, I selected everything in there. NTFS 3G I also selected for VGA I only selected uh, in under Intel here I selected the EV string that's all I selected because you can see here the GM A3100 but when I select it you know I do end up in the black screen maybe I should do the install again and you know see if this arch is 32 and or arch is 64 if it works you know on this and uh, also select frame buffer 32 bit we should uh, see and check that in our next installation on the same machine because you know I want to keep using this command because in fact yeah <laughs> it's my command you know and if I will not have a machine where to use it on then it's useless but this command will help you know all the people having this 3100 card that is not working 
you know that ends up after the install into a black screen you hear music playing on the background but you have no screen or whatsoever also uh, the external monitor doesn't work you know then you just boot the system with arch s64 arch s32 and amazingly that command works you know i by accident found it out and you know i just want to share it with everybody who is having this problem with this video card trying to install you know um a distro of uh i at cost or maybe i up or maybe some other uh, old outdated uh mac os x version because you know i mean like nobody's getting uh, excited anymore about uh the s3 leopard snow but people that know what they can do with it you know such as me you know i also have other many other computers so you know this is just my testing thing it's my left brain i always say left mac right uh windows you know so you know we keep both of them uh, active but this is the these are the selections that i made so you know let's go back to the video in the installation we did not choose any custom kernel you know so this thing runs on the without no custom kernel so it's using the mac kernel um because of the x3100 video card in this thing it's in it's in fact the gm965 from intel you know a video card that is giving many many people headaches you know installations go fine you know successfully installed and then they reboot and you know it doesn't matter if they reboot with slash v slash s or slash x you know they will get into a black screen a black screen that does not let you see anything but you will hear the music you know staying alive staying alive ah, ah. but your, your your computer is not alive at all it's bla one black screen you understand <laughs> so you're like connecting monitors to see if it you will see it there because like it's working my style was good but then it doesn't work at all you know and um, in Macworld you can use boot flex and by using uh, the boot flag that I by accident found out so I'm gonna make it my own it's my boot flag founded by me copyrights you know is arch is 32 or arch is 64 and these two boot flags make that this laptop we're talking about here you can see it it's uh, the D Dell uh, latitude D830 you know this is the baby she even got a little apple approved sticker from me there on top you see that it's really nice huh? so and i'm gonna show you now about these commands my friends because it's really important that you see what's happening so we're gonna do uh two re uh, two restarts you know so you all see that on the line so we're gonna just reboot the system restart so here comes the part for the developers so developers take a close look at this this is really important for you to see because you know we're gonna boot up now with arch is 64 okay we will not do to 32 because I saw that with 64 it starts up really fast and the Wi-Fi stick that I'm using the eminent I don't have to push it in and out before it starts working so here in the bootloader we type F8 you see we typed F8 and now we are in the bootloader so you know I'm gonna type for you now R is 64 and now i'm gonna zoom in on the arc is 64 so you can see it a little bit is it readable peeps it should be readable because today i'm using this other cam you see arc is 64 that's the only thing you type if you have this 3100 uh, screen and it's not supported and your install went fine you know but you end up in the black screen you type arch is 64 and then we just hit enter and we boot 
so let's see what's gonna happen because until now I was only doing this with arg is 64 or 32 so now we're going for arg is 64 and look at the boot time Compare, comparing to the 32 bit uh, boot this goes faster look there we go we are already there boom you see that boom and then the Wi-Fi stick will automatically be found now that while when with 32 bit you know uh, starting up with 32 bit then you know so yo my friends developers you know I got much love for you guys but uh, you must help me out with this one because you know I want to register this command well register it not really but I'm gonna make a nice t-shirt Arch is 64 and then I will have the Arch is 32 you know I will have the 64 and the 32 uh, version t-shirts you know because I'm gonna create a t-shirt I'm really 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 proud of uh, how this system works uh, of course if you want to see how this thing ends up in a black screen without you know if I don't type arg is 64 then we will end up in a black screen or you don't believe me okay then let me show it real fast because I forgot to show that I hope we still have some time so we're just gonna do a simple reboot yeah restart and I will not type any comment yeah and I also don't have to type for you um, Ar Arg is i386 cause I already proved on cam that that is not working so I hope that you know we will have enough time cause my tape is almost finished I have 1 minute 20 seconds Let me hit enter here. I just hit that enter, nothing else. Just to speed up uh, the boot. Because my time is almost up here. Finished on this tape, SD card. And uh, well, if you don't type any command, you know, if you don't type arg is 64, arg is 32, then you know, you will end up in a black screen. And that is because the uh, the card is not supported. You see that? Boom! And the screen just went black. You see? And the only way to you know uh, to 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 get back in the system is to you know press it off. And then start up with Arch is 64. Let's do that real fast. F8 R is 64 so that's it so all you developers out there I hope that this takes the doubts away that this is some you know some attention seeking stupid video you know I'm not into these things I don't really have time for these things you know I do have make time for special cases and I think this is a real special case so I hope that you know um, the guys out there, developers, will look into this. What uh, makes this X3100 work with the simple command arg 64 And um, I also want uh, this boot flag to be added in the custom in the in the in the list of boot flags, you know, because it works and you know it's a perfect. Uh, boot flag for Mac. If you like this information, hit this video like, you know, don't hit the dislike and just leave. If you hit dislike, tell me why you dislike it. So, you know, I learned something from your dislike. Anyway, this was my video for today and I really hope some developers will look into this case because I don't have the answers for it. Thanks again for watching and bye bye.